what? You like vlogging too? You like being on YouTube too? <laughs> All right. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Go look at the camera. Well, hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I have a little special guest with me today. <laughs> You'll probably see him hanging out in the background because he's too big to sit on me the whole time. But Bluey, I can't film with you like this. I, they can't see me. Ready? Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> Hello and welcome back. Uh, long time no see. I know I haven't posted a YouTube video in a while, so I wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update about what's been going on in my life, big things that have been happening. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna catch you guys up a little bit. So grab a drink, grab a snack, fold your laundry, you know, cause it's probably gonna be kind of a long one. So I have a lot to say, a lot to catch you guys up on, so. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the video. You ready? I tried to film this one time before and the audio in the background was really weird. It sounded like somebody was like crinkling a bag. I don't know what it was, weird. So we're refilming it. I'm gonna try to be not as long winded in this one as the first one that I filmed because it was almost like 20 minutes long. But I just wanted to do a little chit chat, do a more personal video, kind of update you guys about what's been going on, where I've been. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you probably have no idea. But if you do follow me on Instagram, you have an idea of where I've been the past few months. So I'll start with the end of October. So the end of October, the day before Halloween, we moved into our new house and we are loving it. It's been really nice but kind of after that everything just kind of started going downhill in a way <laughs> downhill uphill it's been a roller coaster of a few months so we moved into our house and right after we moved into our house covid like ran through my family my mom had it kyle had it and then the worst part about it was both of my grandparents had it at the same time and that's kind of where things started to go really downhill. We thought they were just sick at first. We didn't think that they had COVID and then they had to both be hospitalized because they were just super sick, um, couldn't take care of themselves at home, needed some extra help. So they had to go to the hospital. I'm hoping I can make it through this story without getting upset. So if I rush through it, don't take it as me like being insensitive about it. I'm just trying to get through it to update you guys, tell you where I've been. But um, both my grandparents had tested positive for COVID. Both were in the hospital. My grandma had some pre-existing conditions that kind of made um, COVID kind of worse on her body. And my grandpa, even though he was 90 years old, um, he was doing fairly well. He was still very sick, but he was doing fairly well. So they were in there over the course of a week or so. And my grandma started declining very fast. Um, she wasn't gonna come off of the oxygen that she was on. So my family had to make a really hard decision um, about what to do. My mom, uh, my aunts and uncles kind of had to work through all of that, figure out what was best. Um, but ultimately they had to put her on palliative care and they had to obviously break the news to my grandpa. They were in rooms right next to each other, but they really couldn't communicate. They would get to go and see each other every few days for a little bit, um, watch some TV together. But other than that, they didn't really have a lot of contact, so he didn't, he wasn't really in the loop of what was going on. And they had to break the news to him that they were gonna put her on palliative care. There was nothing else that they could do for her, so. He ultimately decided he wanted the same. He didn't want any more care, didn't want any more treatment for COVID. Um, so they, I know, he knows it's a sad time too, but they ultimately put them both in the same room and started palliative care for both of them. And they both passed away within a few hours of each other and my whole family has this thing going that my grandpa had to be the first one to pass away to be waiting for my grandma in heaven. It was honestly like a scene out of a movie. Like everything like just happened 
so fast and just so unexpectedly and it was seriously like a scene out of the notebook like my whole family says this like they um passed away holding hands like with each other till the very end and it's just such a romantic thing it's such a heartbreaking thing but we know that it was how it was supposed to happen how they would have wanted it to happen um they just both loved each other so much and like there is not a better example of love in my family that i look up to than my grandparents so that was a big and tragic thing that happened in november on november 10th and 11th is the days that they both passed away so shortly after we moved into our house um they were dealing with sickness and then that happened um, Kyle had coronavirus, but I, however, never got it. I don't know how. <laughs> we didn't quarantine from each other. I was around my mom, too. We were moving out of their house to move into this house. So, it was just, it was just a weird time, and it's weird how coronavirus works that way. But, um, kind of a light <laughs> in all of this darkness. Um, the day before their funeral, I found out that I was pregnant. So if you don't follow me on Instagram or you don't know me personally, I am pregnant and we are expecting a little boy. We found that out yesterday, no, a few days ago. Uh, we just announced yesterday that we are expecting a little boy in August. So we we're super excited about that. But all the emotions happened. I found out I was pregnant the day before their funeral, just like, I was happy, I was sad, I was grieving, like I just didn't know what to do. So it kind of took me a while to process the thought of being pregnant and I found out really, really early. And the weird thing is like, I just feel like it was my grandparents and Jesus telling me like, girl, you can buy the test, better buy a test. Because I was, I had no idea. Even like, I probably wouldn't have had an idea until I like missed my period because I had no symptoms. I was feeling normal. I was feeling fine, but I was just walking through the dollar store one day. I had to go to the dollar store for random stuff. You know, I just like to roam the aisles of the dollar store sometimes. And I was like, you know, what? I'll pick one up because we decided like once we got into our house, we were going to start trying and obviously didn't think that it was going to happen quickly. We were just going with the flow, especially the stress of moving, everything that just happened with my grandparents. Like we just didn't think it was our month. And I know a lot of people struggle with that. So I'm not trying to um, like boast that or make that a point. Um, my heart goes out to everybody that struggles because that hits really close to home. And I don't want you to take me saying that um, like disheartening in any way. So found out didn't really expect it at all and funny thing is i think i'm gonna do like a first trimester recap or kind of just um talking about the first trimester and just things i experienced how it was you know all that stuff so leave in the comments below if you want to have a whole video just separately for that but how i found out was kind of crazy like i said went didn't think i was pregnant came home and like i just I just took it. I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna see. So I took it and set it on the counter. I waited however long, or I thought I did, and looked at it and I was like, oh, it's negative. Threw it in the trash. So I went and cleaned and you know did a whole bunch of other stuff. And I came back to use the bathroom again later that day, and it was like face up on the top of the trash can, and there was a second line on it. And I was like, well, it's a cheap dollar store test. It could be an evaporation line, like. It's probably not real. And I had to go to Walmart later that day or the next day. And I was like, I'll just buy a more expensive one then. I'll take it. Probably going to be negative. So I went to Walmart, got a more expensive one, took it. And it was like blatantly positive. Like super faint line, but it was it was blatantly positive. And both times I just handed the test to Kyle. And I was like, what? Look at this. Look at this. <laughs> so... Like I said, that time I was just not believing anything because I just lost both my grandparents within a few hours of each other, found that I was pregnant, just moved into our house, dealing with the coronavirus. So that, <laughs> that is what we have been going through and dealing with the past few months. But I just wanted to give you guys a little update, a little rundown of where I've been, why I haven't been posting as much, why I haven't been making 
like cooking videos and all that stuff because I was not feeling very good in the beginning. I was living off of like little yogurts <laughs> and one week all I wanted was like smoked sausage and cream cheese, those little pasta packets you buy in the bag and you just put them in water and milk. That's all I wanted to eat for like four weeks, I tell ya. Um, but I did start taking some medicine. I started taking Unisom and B6 and that was a heaven scent for me. <laughs> Weeks five through eight-ish were pretty bad. Um, and after that, after I started taking medicine, things um, lightened up a lot. I still have certain days where I feel kind of blah and then sometimes in the evenings, but overall it is tremendously better. <laughs> um, I am almost in my second trimester. I am 12 weeks um, this week and I go for my next appointment tomorrow. So things are going good so far. Just praying for a healthy pregnancy, a healthy baby. And yeah, that's really all I can hope for. So I don't want to make this video super long. I just, like I said, want to give you guys a little update since I've been MIA on YouTube, but I hope to get back to my normal posting schedule of cooking and like home decor. Kyle and I have a whole bunch of little projects that we want to do. Obviously I have a whole nursery to put together. Now that we know the gender, it's a lot easier to put things on our registry and get a plan going. Um, and I did find out the gender really early. Normally you don't find out till 20 weeks at your anatomy scan, but I just opted to have the genetic test done and it will also tell you the gender. So I did that, it was just a blood test with my doctor's office. I had to pay for it. Um, some insurances might cover it, so if you're in the same boat and you wanna find out earlier, that is an option, but usually your doctor's office will tell you about that. I'm just rambling at this point. <laughs> I'm sorry for being a little long-winded. I know this video is just a lot of talking and these aren't my favorite videos to do, um, but I just thought it was easier to be a little more personable and you know, just a little more chit-chatty, a little more casual but i really hope you guys enjoyed today's video as always follow me on my social media i'm way more active on there uh, on my stories and posting and just keeping you guys more updated than i am on here and i will link all of that below for you guys but i think that is all i have for you today so i will see you in the next one